guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here please do not make it your last join the family by subscribing to this channel my name is Rara Suomaribi and on this channel I film contents about graduate school sustainability education and lifestyle today is another episode of the career feature series and we have Uba on the channel Uba came from Nigeria to pursue a graduate degree in chemical engineering and in the middle of um, this degree pursuit he switched completely to another field which is computer science and he's excelling perfectly in, in this field with um, internship and full-time offers from top firms so I want to talk to you today to find out why he made that switch i was confident enough to make that switch even in the middle of a chemical engineering graduate degree and how he has been able to um, excel in this field so without further ado let's get right into the video <music> welcome uba thank you for accepting to come on my channel today thank you very much yeah so please can you just um introduce yourself just give us um a brief background okay so my name is elijah is room i'm a master's student at george washington university studying computer science and i'll be finishing um in december of 2021 and also i have an internship with um visa and also a full-time job with American Express. And I would love to like um, tell my story to the people. Okay, so can you just start from the beginning? What was your, where did you do your BNG? Um, what field was it in? And what did you come here to study? Just tell us how you switch, because right now you're just telling us about <laughs> computer science. <laughs> so, so, yeah. uh, um, my first degree was um, chemical engineering. So I started um, bachelor in chemical engineering at Landmark University. So that was a five-year program. And after that, I came to the United States to like study master's in chemical engineering at Classroom University. So along the line, um, I told myself, uh, will I continue doing um, chemical engineering because of the free tuition and free stipend? And like, what do I want to do in life? So I have to make a decision on what I want to do. And I noticed that like, while I was growing up, I love um, working with technology, uh, connect technological stuffs, and I love uh, working with computers. So like when I was small, I fixed computer for people and I install software for different people. So like they know me as a computer guy when I was small. So like why doing chemical engineering, like I got a full scholarship to study bachelor in chemical engineering at Landmark University. So it was based on scholarship that made me study the course. So like, oh, really? after, yeah, I got a full, full scholarship for chemical engineering. So after that, I came to the United States again with full scholarship again for chemical engineering. So along the line, I told myself that I can't be just doing full scholarship. What do I want to do with my life? So that was where the decision came to like switch to computer science. So I have to like make that decision. Even after almost finishing my master's in chemical engineering, I have to like go ahead. I, I just believe that like, there is no time that is late to start anything I want to do in life. So I have to like make that choice to like switch to what I want to do in life. So that was how everything. Started. Yeah, so that's a nice one. I never knew like you had full scholarship in your B and uh, yes, So that yeah. means in like from the beginning, it's not like you really, like you were not really interested in chemical engineering. No, I was even though I finished with first class in chemical engineering, but that was not my interest. So like, I just- So is it like, like deep, but you chose that in school? Or is it like your father that told you to choose? To so, you know, what made me choose by chemical engineering was because that was the like, out of they gave us like five fields that we can choose for scholarship um later than field so um out of the five fields i saw chemical engineering as the uh, the best option for me because i keep hearing about how company people how they make money like there's money in oil companies i was like okay let me take this field but it's not my like it's not what i really love to do yeah. because the uh, vibe around those areas when I chose the course. So I just like chose the course for the sake of the scholarship and everything. So at what point did you realize that it's probably the computer science course that like, because there's maybe, maybe I'm missing it, but computer science, there's computer science, there's computer engineering. Are they all <laughs> like together? Computer engineering and computer science. Are they one course in some schools? Because in my university, there are two different courses. So, but like what I'm trying to say is that at what point did you realize that, oh, it was this particular program um, that actually did what you loved? Like yeah. at what point in school? So in what made me actually like switch fully to computer science was like after my BS bachelor's degree. So um, I got in contact with um, blockchain technology. 
So it's actually a promising um, field. So like I see so many promising um, 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 techs um, in the area from Ethereum to different new coming um, technologies in blockchain field. So like, I was like, I have to develop something in this area. So how do I do this? So like, I know that I don't have much background in computer science. So I have to like get a degree or try to code myself. But I noticed that I'm in a, in a funny land, so I can't just go online and be learning how to code. So let me just go into the field and see what I can learn from schools. Then after that, I can have to do also personal development on my own. So that was just like what triggered me to like, okay, let me go to this field because I have a lot of visions in this area of blockchain technology. So I have to like move into this um, field fully to like get the knowledge. Okay. So how were you able to prepare yourself adequately to move into those into the field? Because you definitely had to start learning some skills that related to computer science, right? Or you just moved and learned it in the So day. what actually motivated me is the kind of friends I have around me. So they are mostly tech guys and they are all um gurus in the area. So what I did was like because they, they keep me motivated. So what I do is I go online, like I use this site, Udemy, um, Coursera, uh, Free Code Camp. Like I just study, like every day I make sure I learn something new. So I keep learning different programming languages from Python to Java, JavaScript um, to React. Like I keep learning every uh, new language I can learn on my own. So I even learned this uh, Solidity. That was, that is the, uh, the, um language they use to develop ethereum so like i keep learning uh, different um programming languages every day by visiting different sites and uh, youtube was also very helpful for me so like most of my um knowledge was from personal development okay i would say it's from personal development but school actually teaches you a lot so they prepare you then after that you have to go in and study on your own and learn what you want to learn so everything was based on personal learning yeah, so how, uh, can you give us like an estimated time? Like how long did you actually like put out to learn like some of these things on YouTube and like Coursera before you actually switched to the course? So basically I didn't actually know any programming language before I switched. Oh, yeah. Wow. So I just like, I just told myself that um, like I listened to different tech guys. They say it's easy. And what can code that was like it's easy so basically i prepared my cv um twisted up a bit and applied to different schools i was surprised they accepted me i was like wow so even without a programming language background i was even accepted to study master's computer, yeah. computer um, science i was like okay let me give it a try so in the first semester like it was kind of i was kind of struggling because I didn't know anything in computer science. Mm -hmm. So I I try to like make friends with people that are into those areas, like who do personal studies. So, so every day I keep learning, reading and trying to like brush up myself. So along the line, by the end of the semester, I was kind of getting comfortable with the um with the um computer science field. So I started applying to different companies. So by applying, the first um, interview I had, I was kind of it was kind of very strange to me. Like I didn't know anything about lead coding and everything. So they gave me questions to like solve. I was looking like a moron, like, what is this? <laughs> so I was like, okay. So that was why I asked people, you see, you have to learn lead coding, learn um hacker rank and try to like know all those stuff. I was like, wow. So that was what actually helped me to improve my skills. So I started lead coding, like solving each question every day, trying to like solve different questions from lead code and hacker rank. So from there, I was getting um, exposure into the field and mm -hmm. that was it. So by second semester, I was kind of fully into it. Like for me now, I lead most of the project in my in my classes. So before I I I look up to others to like lead the project, but this semester I was kind of the leader in most of the projects. And I was like asking myself, how did I do it? Like I didn't believe I can do it, but it was kind of surprising, like how I moved so fast. Yeah, but, because yeah, because you were really passionate about. Yeah, it. I was actually actually passionate about it. So that was just it. So I, I believe that anybody can do it. Like mm -hmm. it's just for it to it have the interest in it. Yeah, if you have the interest, you can create that time to study. And from studying, you can actually learn what you want to learn. So what semester are you in in your I'm master? actually in um in my second semester. Wow. But I trust I transferred some courses from my previous school. So they um removed some courses for me. So I'll be finishing this December 2021. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So and I know you just got uh an internship. Is it with Visa? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Vista, the this, you you got it this second semester. Tell us like how you were able to get that. Like just so for uh, for the internship with visa, I was I actually like before that I've been applying to different companies. Like I've applied to over hundred companies, mm -hmm. and I've been getting like luckily for me I've been getting invite for interviews. I've been interviewing, so interviewing and making mistakes 
getting rejected. Like, like I interview with over 30 companies before this visa that I got. So from all those interviews, I kept I kept learning from the mistakes I did in those ones. Mm -hmm. So there are some I even paid the most that I was I was thinking I got this. By the end, they said they picked someone else. I was like, okay, it's fine. So but what kept me motivated was my friends. They keep telling me you just need one yes. So like just keep applying, just you just all you need is just one yes. So that kept me motivated. So they even pushed me a lot. They send me links and there's NSB, there's this um Alpha Tech apply, like they keep pushing me to like apply, apply, apply. So I um kind of indebted to them, like they helped me a lot in this internship. So like my friend just sent me a link. See, I should upload my CV in um um NSB um um server, like companies are recruiting. Mm -hmm. And after like that was EKG pool. So after doing that, the next week I got like three um, invites to do some coding tests, like lit code. So I did that, I passed. So they asked me to pick a date for interview, like they want to do everything fast within that week. Well, I picked a date. So I interviewed with the top manager for um, for Visa. They asked me for the project, project I did. I explained, asked for my background. It's still like my like I'm kind of an interesting candidate. Like he would love to like move me forward to the next stage. I was like, wow. So they sent me to the final. So I was thinking it's gonna be very hard because of the name visa. So um, <laughs> I, there were like two uh, programmers, they asked me questions. So they asked me a lot of questions that like, I was answering them like confidently, like it's something I've already been asked in the past. Yeah. Why so I was confident answering all those questions. So they gave me like two coding, coding questions to answer. So I solved them, like I solved them. They asked me to optim 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 optimize the solution and give them the best result. So sometimes, like I won't even know the perfect um, solution. The interviewer will help you, like give you some hints on what to do. So I was able to like follow up and answer those questions very well. And they just told me that they are not looking for someone that is an expert in programming. They are looking for problem solver, people that can think and solve problems. So that was what they told me they are looking for mostly. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, but at least I got this question they asked me to solve and. After one week, I heard from them, congratulations, you have been selected for internship. I was like, wow. So along the line, like within the same week, I also applied for um, American Express Software Engineering role. I did the um, the coding questions. Like they actually gave me like six coding questions. I answered five. I didn't answer the last one. Mm -hmm. So I was, I was thinking, ah, this one is a gone um, in, um, um, in, okay. um, interview. Like I didn't finish the questions. I was like, they invited me for the next stage. I was like, wow. <laughs> I was even thinking I didn't finish the whole question that that was just gone. So I I picked it. Like what kept me even motivated was people, people keep telling me that no matter the company, don't ever reject an interview. Mm -hmm. And that period, um, Visa and American Express was, was clashing. I told them that, okay, can they ship their own time to the next day? They agreed and shifted it to the next day. And I interviewed with the um, interviewer and he asked me some questions. I answered them, he asked me to go over my solutions with him. I went over the solution with him and all my coding um, in the coding uh, question, I went over the solution with him and he asked me several questions, um, how I arrived at this, the, the way I thought about it and everything. I explained myself and he moved from that. You see, he wouldn't give me a new coding question. Like he would ask me some problem problem solving questions. So he was not asking me some puzzle and trying to know how I would think. When it was kind of <laughs> stressful for me to be like answering puzzle questions at that moment. So I tried to answer some. But after the interview, I was thinking maybe I, since I didn't get all the puzzle questions correctly, maybe they won't pick me. Surprising to me, I got the job. I was like, wow. So most times what we think will not happen actually happened. So like, it was just surprising to me how I got both of them at the same week. So, so was that internship too or full-time? Full-time job. Um, okay. So you day. were applying for both internships and full-time yeah. jobs. Yes, yeah. So like, when when did you start applying your, your first semester? Or so I, you know, my friend in the tech asked me like, even though I'm starting now, I must start applying now that I shouldn't waste time. So by the time I'm finishing, I'll be used to the whole interview um, steps and experience. So I won't be kind of test. So all the rejection I'll have, I'll have them from the beginning of the semester. Then when I'm about to finish, I will be kind of good to answer okay. interview questions that can get my rules. So okay. that actually kept me moving. So for my first semester, I was applying, even failing interview, um, um, some of the interviews. So I kept applying and tried my best. I interviewed even Facebook, Amazon, like most of the top companies I interviewed with them, but they didn't pick me, but I kept on trying and I was getting experience from them. So that was just um, what happened.
That's awesome. So um, what, what advice, like from your, the lessons you've learned through the entire process, what advice would you give to um, others in a place where they, like they're currently in a place where they think it's too late to switch because they're like far gone in a particular program that they probably um, don't really like. Yeah, so what? No, I, won't say, I, won't say, I won't say it's, it's too uh, late to switch. Anyone can switch. Like it's just for you to make that um, decision to switch. Like um, there is no late time. Like once you have that zero and you have made up your mind, okay, I want to do this, unless you don't want to switch on your own. So when it comes to computer science, it's not that hard. It's just that people see it as being very hard. It's not hard at all. Anybody can do it. It's just for you to make up your mind. I want to learn this. I want to go into this field. Once you put your mind to it, like within, uh, like let's say from the beginning part, it can be hard to you, but as time goes by, you start learning the tricks and everything. Like almost all programming languages are kind of related. Once you know the basic syntax for each of the programming languages, you can do it. It's just to know the syntax for each of them and apply them accordingly. And everything becomes so easy for you. So I believe anybody can do a program. Anybody can do it. It's just for you to make your mind as, okay, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what are your future plans? Because you talked about blockchain and Ethereum. Are we, are we looking at a cryptocurrency from you in the future <laughs> oh, for me like I'm, I'm i'm looking towards that i'm trying to like create something in the in the blockchain field like um in the future so i just want to like get more exposure into the um computer science field gain some experience like be very good in so many languages and everything then from there i can now move into my personal um vision on mm -hmm. something in the blockchain field because i see blockchain as very promising like so many things are happening there and even so many developers are moving into the blockchain field so i believe that it's going to be very very interesting soon mm -hmm. so i believe that um maybe in seven years or ten years coming i should be able to like get the kind of experience i want to move mm -hmm. into the blockchain fully mm -hmm. so uh, it's a very promising field i believe um it has a great future awesome thank you thank you Uba, for sharing your story on my channel it's going to be like a source of inspiration to a lot of my subscribers um we really appreciate you for coming very much <laughs> um so guys um thank you guys for watching um if you are not yet subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for click on the red subscribe button now please hit the like button comment like i'm going to leave uber's details down in the description box if you need to contact him um network with him ask him questions more about like his switch you can do that um yeah share this video to someone you think um you think might gain from it and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye